everybody and welcome back to my Outlast Let's Play. Last we left off, we pushed that body out of that vent and we ran away from Chris. And now we're heading into here with a cracked up camera, which is not helpful in the slightest, for me at least. But we gotta press on forward. We've come this far, so ooh, document. So let's continue on forward. All right. Again, not reading it out. So pause if you want to read. And yeah. Oh, we can't go through that door. Of course not. Was it this way we needed to go? Was it just literally for that document? It's been a while since I played this the whole way through, so I've mentioned that before, I know. But it's true. I haven't played this in quite a few months now, I mean, before the Let's Play at least, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. The key to the house of God is in the theater, behind the light. The theater, behind the light. You have to see the movie, so that's where I left the card. Okay? Hey! Stupid! I need your help. Where are you? Yes, coming! I'm coming! Alright, well. To that room we go right after we do our usual battery check. That, oh, oh, we're supposed to go this way anyway. Alright, so as we're supposed to go that way, let's check the other rooms very quickly. If there is any. Nope, that is, that is the only room. Alright. Speed it up a little bit. Okay. okay. There we go. By speed dinner, obviously I've just... Whoa! <laughs> that made me jump! Didn't expect the ladder there. But like I was saying, obviously I was just doing little sprints. Alright, now we'll go up the ladder. Alright, up we go. Yeah, as you notice, I always keep the camera up unless I'm going across a ledge. So I found that it's better to keep the camera up because the batteries only run out if you put the uh, night vision on. If it's on regular vision, it's fine. And it's always best to keep the camera up because you never know what notes you might come across. And I'm pretty sure there's a trophy for collecting all the notes and I have yet to do so. So I'm hoping I can collect all the notes this time round. And the same goes with the documents as well. I haven't collected all the documents yet. So hopefully that new area I discovered with that document, hopefully that means I can get that trophy at least. At the end of this. I'm not one of those people who get like 100% trophies all the time. Like, I don't really focus on getting the platinum trophies that much. But... Every now and then, if I see a trophy I think I can definitely get, then I will try my best to get that trophy. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to mute the mic so we can listen to this. December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The fumes are real. There was no alteration to the footage at all, no trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsy.
biopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English words are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... A proximity to this. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Nothing is supernatural. You haven't seen the demo for the second Outlast then, have ya? Because what I've seen on that, something definitely supernatural is going on there. Anyway, notes time. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25 year old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Almos. I hope I didn't butcher that word, but anyway, means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumours, psychoschematic reactions in significantly disturbing people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough Horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that word. Uh, tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Right, yeah, I said this before and I'm saying it again. He has definitely gone batshit. Anyway, yeah, I didn't bother pronouncing that particular word because my pronunciation of, of some words sucks as it is and I have no idea how to pronounce that word, so I wasn't going to even attempt to do so. So, yeah, anyway, moving on. Well, hello. You Okay, you say so. Stop doing that. You ass. Ooh, document. Alright. I believe we have to go up here. Oh no, don't turn the light off, you silly person. Every time it does that, I always expect someone to just randomly appear. Glad it doesn't always happen. But yeah. Are there any batteries around here? Any at all? Yes, there is. Good. Well, oh, hello. Like that, for example. About the randomly appearing thing. 
I can't go in now? Great. It's alright, just have to go through that door that I couldn't go in before. No big deal. Oh, hello, I see you running away. Oh, another ledge. Yeah, I've noticed that whenever the camera's up and you're trying to go across the ledge, mouse likes to fall off the ledge when that happens, and it's very annoying. Especially in this section when it's quite dark, and uh, I can't really see where the uh, ledge finishes. But, luckily, like I said, I have done this before, so I have, I have a rough idea of what to do exactly. So, yep, key time. Oh, and that door is randomly open now. Yay! Which obviously brings us back here. And now we just have to escape here and go back to the area you were at with that one patient. We can't go this way, can we? No, we can't. Alright, um, it's this way, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Oh, and there's people about to chase us. Which direction is it coming from? I don't actually know. It's been that much of a while. But I'm not doing myself any favours running up and down like it like a weirdo right now. But ah, hello, bye bye. Thank you for opening the exit again. So uh, I don't actually know if that was you, but the exit was already opened. I weren't paying attention. But what I am doing is running the hell out of here. Come on, open, open. Thank you. Close. All right, moving on. Forward again. Where are we now? Okay, well. Can't go that way. And I'm pretty sure if we run back this way, we can't really go this way either. Could be wrong though. No, I was right, we can't go that way either. So there's only one way to go, and that's via this. But it needs a key. So, am I missing something? Am I being that much of an idiot that I missed something completely here? Probably, so I'm going to head back down. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I, I think I... Yeah. Alright, well, in the next video we're going to look for this key and then see what Father Martin wants. My? Martin. See what Father Martin wants. Anyway, Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!